Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and thanks for checking out another video this week. And if you happen to like this video at the end, please don't forget to like, comment or subscribe to my channel. And since I'm still in the process of editing a travel video, let's just in the meanwhile do some simple tutorial this week in DaVinci Resolve 16. Let's go! Alright, so go ahead, let us open our DaVinci Resolve 16. Okay, so we are now inside the DaVinci Resolve 16. You can see on the lower left corner the toolbox. Expand the toolbox menu and under it, click the titles and you see a lot of different text options. Now it is definitely up to you to use which type of text you are most comfortable with, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's go ahead and use this text plus with a voltage icon. Um, go ahead and drag it into our timeline and click the Fusion tab below. Okay. So now inside the Fusion tab, you see there are two boxes, which are actually called nodes. I'm not going to talk about it because that is out of scope of this tutorial. But briefly, so we have two nodes, the template node and the media out node. The template node being your original media and the media out node being the output product of everything you do in between. Now with your template node selected, go to the right panel of your window. By default, the inspector is already open and under the inspector tab, we can see different panels and text tab has already been selected. Let's go ahead and change our text. Hmm. Uh, let's just use a DaVinci Resolve. The next thing we should do is now to change the gradient. If you hover over the fourth icon, which looks like a brush, you see the grading, uh, you see the shading icon. Let's go ahead and click it. And on the properties type, select gradient on the drop menu. Below it is the shading gradient property. By default, it shows the two color already selected, black on the left and white on the right. We can already see the result on the text being black on the bottom and white on top. And in the middle, it shows the blend between those two colors. You can slide this little triangle here left to right. Not sure what this is officially called. But if we select the left one and drag it to the right, we can see that the black color intensifies or towards the middle. And the same goes if you move the selector in the right. But what if we add a third color in the middle, let's say color red. All we have to do is to click anywhere in the middle and boom, we have the third small triangle selector here. Change the color to red and there you go. We can adjust the position of these color selectors and play around with it until you achieve the gradient that you want to achieve. And how about, what if you decide I don't want the third color anymore? Well, that is actually very easy. All you have to do is to select the color selector that you want deleted and drag it upwards. And voila, it's gone. And lastly, this is not necessary, but you can also play around with the alpha property of your colors here by selecting the alpha and dragging the slider left or right. I hope you like this simple tutorial we have today and if you like this video please leave a thumbs up or you want to suggest a tutorial video leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you want an update better put on that bell notification until then